How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It is week 10 of 2023. We're taking a look at what's happened in the Horizon 5 community at the moment. You know the drill, let's jump straight into it. Couple of the new tweets over on Twitter, just FYI, if you are a Forza Horizon 4 player and have had any Steam crash issues, they have now resolved this with an Nvidia game ready driver. A few other tweets to go through. We have the wild takeover update graphic that we get every month. There's usually a couple of things on there that they missed out from the stream, so there you go. We have another graphic that's sort of showing all the new cars in that update and what date you can get them. We can see that tomorrow we can get the Subaru Brat and the three cars later on this month. Now you may have seen in a video a couple of days ago I spoke about the Rally Adventure information. We had a little bit of extra information on the Rally Adventure update. Well, since then we've been given a new graphic displaying all of the teams and the team missions here it is it's sort of detailing the rally adventure career so if you're looking forward to the third expansion here's a little bit of information how the ambassador races work what the reward is for the goliath race we can see it's the ford f-150 lightning and we can see that we need to achieve rank eight and win eight races to unlock the ambassador race for each team so that's a very cool helpful graphic to have been given one last tweet before the main announcement, we have a new update for Forza Horizon 4, which is basically allowing players to earn 100% completion on updates from Series 60 onwards um, to do with one of the achievements about getting 100%. So that's all of the updates we've had on Twitter. And we have a new announcement of a Forza Horizon 5 limited edition eSwap Thrustmaster controller. Thrustmaster put out a announcement tweet showing a brand new Forza Horizon 5 Thrustmaster controller that's got the eSwap technology that not many people seem to know about. Basically, it's a controller where the analog sticks and the D-pads are all swappable and addable. So if you really wanted, you could have two D-pads, you could have three analog sticks, you could have one analog stick. They're just interchangeable. It's quite weird to explain. We can see the D-pad is on this one and the i don't even know what that is is that a d-pad on that one as well but it is a highly customizable controller and there are paddles on the back as well similar to the xbox elite and trigger stoppers as well it's just a very customizable controller and thrustmaster have brought out a forza horizon 5 version i kind of want one myself although at 200 dollars does seem kind of expensive i'm not sure what that'll be in pounds probably around the 200 mark as well so it's expensive, but it's kind of cool. What do you guys think? What else do we have? Well, I spoke about this in one of my previous videos, but I'm going to touch, touch on it a little bit more, and that is a new troubleshooting hub feature that Playground Games and Forza have released. Now, over on the Forza forums, there is the there's the suggestions of where you can suggest features to be in the game and you can vote on it and the highest voted ones are what they focus on the most. Well, they have brought out a troubleshooting hub. Now, the troubleshooting hub is where you will be able to list your issues, list your bugs and stuff that's going wrong with your game, and players will be able to vote on them if they're having the same issue. It's basically just the main hub where you want to go if you're having any issue. Go there, see if it's already being worked on, see if there are any solutions. This is your number one place to go to. If you go to the Forza forums, you'll see the troubleshooting hub tab and you can read into it, read how it works. But this is where you want to be going if you're having any issues with your game. Don't tweet at them on Twitter. Don't comment on Instagram. This is where they want you to go. As I said, very similar to the suggestions hub. If you're having any suggestions for the game, suggest them on the suggestions hub. It is vital. What else do we have? Now we have a bit of information on the next update that's coming, which is series 19, I think. I've mixed up now. We can see that it will be midnight at Horizon on the 30th of March. It will include new cars, extended nighttime, neon decorations and Horizon collectible. Now I wanted to quickly talk about this because not only does this sound like quite a cool update, no idea what cars we'll be getting and stuff like that, but neon decorations sounds like some kind of evolving world that we're going to be added. And the extended nighttime is rather interesting one and I'll explain why now. As I mentioned earlier, the suggestions hub where everyone's been suggesting things, the night time, um, extend the night time, is actually one of the highly requested things. So it's very good to see that in the next update, we are going to be getting one of the highest requested things 
that everyone's been asking for, extend the night time. Now we don't know if this will be a temporary extension of night time or a permanent extension of night time, but it is really good to see that they are following what we suggest. And in the rally expansion, we are getting increased tire profile size, as you may have heard. That is also very beneficial to the drag racing community. Drag racing customization is also on the list as well. So that's two things that we've received in the game that was highly requested, which leaves me very, very optimistic about all of the other highly requested things as well. They are listening. As for what else is coming in Series 19, we're not entirely sure yet. What we do have is the crossword, which has one last word left. Now, lots of people are confident that this is Test Track because we got Test Track in the Donut Media update. I don't think it is that because that was ages ago and we've still not been given the clue yet. I actually did a stream a couple of weeks ago where we discussed this a little bit and tried to figure out all of the words that could fit in the last spot. And these are the seven things that we came up with that seemed most fitting. All of these are possible. All of these fit very nicely in the uh, the last crossword slot we've got. It could be any of them. Most of them are a bit rubbish, to be honest. I doubt it's going to be Tokyo Race. That wouldn't make sense. But what I will say is if this really does say test track and all this time it's just been solved all along, I think there's a very good possibility that we will receive the Donut Media Part 2 update very soon. For example, we might get this clue in a month's time to show that Donut Media Part 2 Test Track is coming the update after that. So if this is Test Track, I reckon that's indicating that the Part 2 of Donut Media is coming very soon. If not, <coughs> if not, here are some of the other possibilities. What do you guys think? One last thing, the leaked car list is something we've not looked at in a little bit. If we have a look at the leaked car list back in December, we can see this is what it looks like. Well, we can now update it based on what we're getting in the expansion and the previous updates. We can see what's very interesting about this is two of the cars up here, the Subaru Brat and the Nissan Safari Turbo. These two cars we have now received in the game and they were leaked a very, very long time ago. If I'm correct, they were leaked, I think, 14 months ago, 14, 15 months ago, a very long time ago, and we finally got them in the game. Now, that's very interesting. It's very interesting to see that we are actually getting really old leaked cars added to the game. We can never rely on a leaked car list to tell us what we're going to get, but based on this information, any of the cars that are marked in black on this screen have been leaked. We haven't got them yet. Honestly, we could get any of them. We have no idea. That is everything for today's video, guys. Let me know what you think on the controller and all the other little bits like that. And I'll see you all later.